we're going to be doing playing with some thermite today. Thermite is a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum powder, and it's gonna be awesome. So let's get started. And the aluminum powder is gonna go in as well. Thermite is a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum powder, which when mixed and ignited, releases 850 kilojoules per mole reaction. Change plans. I had to ignite it with a strip of magnesium ribbon and a blowtorch, of course, because why not? I've never done this before. Hopefully it'll be cool. It might not be, but... So I also brought out some commercial grade thermite. It's slightly differently, but it's got slightly larger pieces. Literally, where's the end of this thing? Oh, there we go. All right. In there, and that's going to be my fuse. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to light this fuse. And the fuse should burn down and ignite this, which will hopefully ignite that. And the rest will just have to watch. Does that look centered to you guys? Um, my fuse did not light the thermite, so I'm just taking a quick peek in there. Yeah, it burned almost down to the thermite, but not all the way. So we're gonna have to retry this. Take two. There's so much heat generated in this reaction that the iron is molten and falls through the hole of the pot to whatever is below. still see a little molten iron in the flower pot and that has cooled a little bit and fill it onto the pear. That's fantastic. Let's all enjoy that for a second. You can see these little droplets of iron that have collected in the sand heap. Okay, so definitely we have some pan damage down here with the thermite or the molten iron making it through the metal. So we'll have to get a new pan sometime. So the regular thermite reaction releases molten iron and it drops out of the flower pots. This time we're gonna try and drop it onto this uh, polyurethane foam and see what happens to that. No! no! I almost made it in time. I can hold it. For this next one, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, regular thermite contains iron oxide and aluminum, and but we have several jars of copper oxide or cupric oxide in the back room, and I thought, why not swap it out for the iron oxide and see what happens with that. Oh God. So I think what we have here is a cloud of copper. Um, that was crazy. There's nothing left in my flower pot. I think the entire mixture vaporized and went off as a cloud. That was intense. Okay, so the first time was uh, extremely terrifying and unexpected. And so naturally we have to do it again. I'm not sure what to call this reaction, except like Thermite's evil cousin.
turns out it was a lot more frightening than I thought it was going to be, a lot more energetic. I actually did some calculations, and while the regular thermite releases 850 kilojoules per mole reaction, the copper oxide aluminum reaction releases over 1200 kilojoules per mole of reaction, so a lot more. Yeah, I, yeah, it was a lot more. So there you have it, regular thermite and also thermite's evil cousin, copper thermite. I hope you enjoyed it, have a great day.